hold up that. What's this WBC belt you got? Uh, it's a WBC held an event and I, I won the event and I got to awarded this this WBC belt. It has the the Sullivan. The Sullivan, yeah, the late passing, rest in peace. The amateur champion and then the sponsorship. It's a real WBC belt. It has a Special Reyes official. And I got the hat on too. What does it feel like in the amateur game? A lot of people don't get recognition. It's very anonymous. How does it feel to get recognized uh, for all your hard work? It feels great, like all the hard work you put in the gym, getting recognized. But you like you can't stop there. You got to keep going. Like there's things you need to take. It's like you still gotta. It's great getting recognized, but you got to be on top if you're getting recognized still. Cause they're gonna have expectations for you, and you got to be there to show up and show off. Talk a little bit about your amateur career. You're a real badass amateur. And then beyond that, are you going to turn pro or are you going to wait for 2020? And yeah. Get that mic up a little higher. Oh, yeah. My amateur career, I had 113 wins, six losses, 13 national titles, one more title, uh, at the, the one gold medal for USA at the world championship level. Yeah. And my plans are to turn, to wait for the 2020 Olympics. I, I, I want to be an Olympian badly, but. I don't really like the, I'm not a fan of the the, the headgears, fighting without headgear. If I'm going to be getting hit without a headgear, I might as well be doing it for money.